Hello. In today's video, we're going to be adding some three-dimensional custom camouflage to a Cuddy safe, specifically for a Cuddy Link J-Series camera. What I like to do in addition to adding matte finished camouflage paint is I like to add construction adhesive or caulk to give the camera even more of a three-dimensional look and break up the outlines of the corners. I'll take you to some different places where I've applied these safes in the field and show you how I conceal these cameras. They're also a great addition to your cameras to protect your investment from, you know, bears and theft. And I highly recommend, you know, spending the extra $20, $25 to protect a camera that's pretty dang expensive. So thank you for watching today's video. Thank you for the support of this channel and I hope you enjoy it. Today, uh, we're gonna have a little fun. It's a rainy day, actually rainy day in December of all things. And so we're gonna have a little arts and crafts project. So I have my J series Cuddy safe here. I bought this one used off of a message board or um, Facebook marketplace group, which is an awesome source for stuff related to whatever cameras you probably use. I just happen to use the Cuddy links. And so um, that's what I was looking for. Metal box. I, Highly recommend these, by the way. And then I have two containers of liquid nails. They won't both go on at once, you'll see. And then my cock gun. And what I'm gonna do is uh, put a first layer on this. I'm gonna try to focus mostly on the corners to break up the square outline a little bit. And you'll see some of these I already have done in the field. And then we will uh, have to put a second, maybe third application on. So have this on a board so I can move it off of my workbench and you can see the clutter, but you know, I guess that means I work a lot, right? So I gotta say about the liquid nails from local hardware store. Uh, I like supporting the local hardware store. It's a vet owned hardware store. And I found that out at our school's veterans day program this year. So I'm like, I'll spend my money there versus over the big box stores and hope you guys do the same. So. Um, next thing I'll do is I'll set up my little tripod and I'll try to show you the process of adding some caulk or I think I use construction adhesive because it's going to be less likely to get eaten by the critters. All right, so here I am. I'm just going to start applying the, the construct, it is construction adhesive. I'm just going to try to start applying it kind of to mimic, um, bark. You know, and one of the things you have to do is you got to be a little bit patient because, you know, this stuff has to set up. They can't, can't move it while it's liquid. So this is going to be a multi-day project, but it does make for a really cool camera and it doesn't have, to, or yeah, box and it does not have to be perfect, but nature doesn't have any straight lines in it. So the more you break up straight lines, the better. So, you know, if you look right here for example that's a corner and so one area focus and plus there is a hole there is to hit that and then kind of break up the hole for the lens and so you can kind of see a little bit how i've thrown some on and layered over the top and then you know you get it to hopefully stay where you're at you know you can go thicker some spots thinner some spots and you know once you add your paint to this it looks pretty damn awesome and you really can't go wrong you know this is just a fun way to be thinking about hunting when you're not hunting so I'll use this probably most of this tube um, on areas where it sticks and then I'll let it sit and drag that one out so it just goes to nothing maybe and then come back and hit it again, flip the sides. Obviously you don't worry about the back, you know, but I will put a glob on the top too, because um, you know, this adds additional outline and a breakup of the outline. And then I do one here. Now, careful, you don't want to go across the seam. Obviously there's, I don't know if you can even see this down here, but there's, this is where the box opens and closes. And so I'm not gonna put adhesive across that. So we're on the second day of adding construction adhesive to this um, trail camera safe and it's looking good, but 
it's still looking kind of boxy to me. So my focus now with what I have left, I'm gonna use one tube just to make this even more affordable. I don't think there's gonna be a need to go through two tubes. Once I get the color on the front, this is gonna look pretty dang good, but you know, it still doesn't break up the side profile much. And so I'm gonna add construction adhesive to both sides, let this dry, and I cannot wait to paint it and show you the finished product. So we're getting there. And if this is on a tree wider than the safe itself, it is gonna blend in. And I throw like logs along the sides too. I'll try to show you some pictures of that, but I do wanna get more dimension to the side to break up the lines right like here and then on the other side. Here's the final progression of three different ways to camouflage your trail camera safes. So this is one can of construction adhesive and I, it took a few different applications. Um, if you do it too early, the sides do smush down, but I love this look and I have many uh, images and videos of this out in the field. These work decent too. Um, if you do a lighter color in there, like if you had a white Sharpie, um, you can really add some smaller detail to it. And then this is what they look like, you know, from the manufacturer. So if you're bored, you want to think about hunting, this is the way to go. So just something to do in the off season, something to, you know, use your creative juices, something to break up the outline of your uh, cuddy safes or your trail camera safes. So here's an example of a cuddy link uh, trail camera safe that I camouflaged using construction adhesive. Now obviously the solar panel is giving this away. Uh, this is six and a half, seven feet off the ground angled down and if it was just this camera box it would be great and another thing I would do is I'd, I, I don't maybe it fell down but put some logs around the side but this is a uh, example of like just adding that extra dimension and how good it is to hide the camera hey thanks for watching today's video on how to camouflage your cuddy safes i hope you enjoyed it if you have any questions comments ideas please drop them below as always i appreciate your viewership and support of my channel thank you